guys, this is uh, Cruz Roy here with this, uh, this is my 250 clone. Um, problem I'm having is the, uh, bring it down on the shaft here. These, these Hobby King uh, tail shafts and pulleys, I mean this was just put on last night. And I didn't even quite get through a battery and notice that she was uh, spinning out of control. And uh, whatever they're using to press these on, it's not really good. So someone told me, uh, yeah, won't you buy one of them Trex Align pulleys there? They're a lot better manufacturing and silliness. And uh, that's what I did. I got, um, they come two for eight ninety nine, so it's a lot more money. I mean, the, the Hobby King one is, uh, I think, sixty three cents a piece, and you get two of these for eight ninety nine on the average plus shipping. Um, so supposedly they're a lot better shaft, but but there's always a but. Let me uh, bring her over here and zoom it in. Um, I put the first one in and someone said you know use washers to space it for some reason the uh, let's take a look at this one if you take a look at this one the distance the pulley size let me back up a second If you look at the Hobby King, uh, the uh, Trex one, the uh, pulley is smaller but has a couple of shoulders on either side. Well, they tend to hit the Baron. When you tighten up the two side covers, uh, they'll clamp right down on the bearing and it'll, it'll just seize it up. She won't even spin. Um, I mean, and technically, when you look at the Hobby King one, it's a lot bigger pulley, but in reality it's not really bigger it's smaller not in diameter but it's width you know um, what I'm going to show you later I'll use the micrometer but um, so these like I said they just keep spinning I don't know if the aligned ones are any better I just picked pick these two up like I said 899 for two problem is they're too wide the shoulders hit the bearing you cannot move the shaft I tried the washes, which, uh, uh, God love you guys, that was like the hardest thing I ever did in my life, trying to get those little tiny brass washes in there, and it's still not enough, because if you want to tighten it up so you know she's not going to fall apart in flight, um, they'll just loosen up and fall apart. I mean, the screws aren't long enough, and now you're getting into longer screws, and this and that, you know, you might as well just buy the Trex tail. Unfortunately, the Trex tail, just this assembly alone, is 25 bucks plus shipping. Um, I like to stay as cheap as possible with my little guys because I tend to uh, fly them into walls and trees. Um, so I'd like to stay with this. So I'm thinking, you know, how can we fix this problem? Um, you get the right tool here for the right job. Let me take this one out and I want to show you on the micrometer the difference in size. The washers probably work. I mean, it doesn't seem like a safe thing to do because the screws are not long enough and you're kind of like tightening with like three turns and you're tight and it still don't work. It's still putting way too much pressure on the axle, which in turn is putting stress on your motor and putting stress on the ESC, causing it to overheat. So how can we fix this problem? If you're thrifty like myself, uh, you want to save some money. Uh, like I said, the Trex tail assembly is very expensive. Uh, I don't know why they look identical. Um, how can we make it work with the Hobby King or EXI tail assembly, which this one is the uh, HK 250 GT. But I've already gone through uh, five of these with one flight a piece on. First I was losing the belts, now I'm you know, losing these. I put, a, I put an aligned belt on and now I lose the pulleys. So yes, the money I've spent so far, I probably could have bought the whole aligned tail, but I'm not quite that smart. I don't learn from my mistakes. Um, 
So just let me get this all apart here. I'm going to take the other tail uh, shaft out. I'm going to run it through the micrometer and I'll show you what the problem is. I'll remove this package out of the way. Um, but I did. I tried all the little washers and, uh, and as you can see there's one right there that just fell. Where am I? Let me put it over here. You know, trying to fight with these little things and, and getting them in between the cover and the case was uh, very, very enjoyable and it's a pain. There's got to be an easier way. So, I'm thinking in work and I'm like, how can we save this problem? Because even on this cover here that I'm taking off right now, I fiddled with washers and got them behind the cover and that was fun. It's not something you can do in the field, you know. It's definitely not that. Alright, so both covers off. Let me back up a little bit. Alright. Alright. Here's an Align 250 shaft, uh, tail shaft. The, the pulley actually looks way smaller visually than the HK. The HK is the gold one, the Align is the one with the black in it. Alright, so let me, uh, let's pull out the old trusty Mikey chronometer. Turn it on. Zero it in. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Okay, let me loosen it. Let me open it up. Now, you want on the pulley, you want to just, there's two gold bushings on either side. They look like gold bushings, but in fact, they're just part of the pulley. Um, if you notice, I got, if you can see that, it's 5.28 millimeters. All right, 5.28 millimeters. Sounds fine and dandy, right? All right, let's get that one out of there. Now that's the factory GT one. Let's bring the line over. Now this one's pretty easy. It's got a shoulder. I cannot fit it in the space, so I have to open her up. So we're 528 millimeters. Now, there's the Align one with the shoulder, and it is 5.82 or 83. It keeps wandering. So you have 5.82 or 5.28. That's a very big difference in the uh, small helicopter world uh, in size on the millimeters. Now, how can we fix this problem? Well, I had an idea. What you need is you need a piece of steel wool. Nice, huh? Also, a regular household file. Um, but you're thinking to yourself, uh, what you need, if you could find a file that, see this edge here? How they're cut on all four sides for filing? That's nice. You got a nice flat surface to run the shaft across. What I'm, what I'm thinking is cutting down the shank, the shoulder on both sides. Let me get something to point. The shoulder on both sides, if you could take a little bit off of both sides you can shrink it down to fit into the Hobby King housing without a problem. It'll have plenty of room and tolerance to move around. Now how do we do that? We need this edge on the file. But the last thing you want to do, well you want to, you want to bring it up and you want to file it like this. And you can do it by hand all day if you want. Uh, it's going to take you a lifetime by a, by a Trex tail if you're going to do that, but my idea is to throw it into a Dremel, use it like a lathe, place the file there, and cut down the shoulder while she spins. But how do you protect this shaft 
from getting all scratched up from the file's face. All right, let me come up with that answer for you. I took this file and I polished this down with a grinder to keep it still keep it flat, but get rid of all the filing. So when the shaft rests across the file, I tried a piece of tape. The tape just burnt off from the high speed. This is nice and polished now. The shaft will ride, and yes, it might get a little scratched up, but not as bad as you would think to run on the tail rotor. But now you can push gently against the pulley on your line, and the pulley from a line is aluminum, and you'll push the file in, and you just clean a little bit off of this edge, and a little bit off that edge. You want to take it off of both sides to keep the pulley centered in the housing. All right. Now, how do you do all this and not wreck this shaft? Well, the next thing you need, get, get yourself some of that blue painter's tape. Start right at the edge of the painter's tape. You just want to grab maybe a quarter inch of the shaft. If you got smaller tape, good, but that's what I got. You want to put a little bit at the end of the shaft. Why? Why cruise Roy? Why would I do that? Because most Dremels have jaws just like a drill and they will scratch the shaft and you do not want to scratch your shaft because that's where the rotor rides on with the bushing and you'll scratch it all up and that's not good so anyways a line tail shaft a little bit of blue tape 